India responded to challenge at northern border very resolutely, Jai Shankar. India has had an exceptionally difficult challenge along the northern borders in the last three years and the country responded to it very resolutely and has been maintaining the kind of military deployment necessary for national security. External Affairs Minister S. Jaishankar said on Saturday on the lingering row in eastern Ladakh with China. The stakes? Higher than ever. The players? Top diplomats from around the globe. He said this in an address at the Fitchi while explaining how the Modi government makes choices after choices with confidence however difficult and tough they may be. It could even be what happens at our border. Again, you all know, in the last three years, we have had an exceptionally difficult time in terms of the challenges on our northern borders, Jayashankar said. Even though this happened in the middle of COVID, yet we responded very resolutely, very determinedly, and to date, we are still deployed in whatever manner is necessary for our national security, he said. The Indian and Chinese troops are locked in an over three-year confrontation in certain friction points in eastern Ladakh, even as the two sides completed disengagement from several areas following extensive diplomatic and military talks. Shishankar also explained how India, under Prime Minister Narendra Modi, tried to create global awareness against terrorism or went ahead for cooperation under the Quad framework, though there was a narrative that it could make somebody uncomfortable, seen as an oblique reference to China. If somebody else is uncomfortable, that's their problem, he said. At the end of the day, we have to do what we have to do. However difficult and tough that is, it is about the confidence of being able to exercise choice after choice, he said, adding such an approach will define us as Bharat. Diplomatic talks have often reached stalemates and the region has witnessed a consequential shift in its geopolitical dynamics. Enter Jai Shankar, a seasoned diplomat, who took the helm as India's external affairs minister in May 2019. His tenure thus far has been marked by a pragmatic approach towards these northern border challenges. In the face of increasing tensions, Shankar emphasized dialogue and diplomacy. He called for a peaceful resolution of disputes stressing on the importance of bilateral relations and international law. He did not shy away from addressing the elephant in the room, the need for mutual respect and sensitivity towards each other's core concerns. This approach has not been without its critics. Some argue that it's too soft, too accommodating. Others contend that it is precisely this diplomatic tact that is needed in the volatile landscape of international politics. So, what is the potential impact of Shankar's response? It's a question that many are asking. While it's too early to predict with certainty, a few things are clear. His emphasis on dialogue and diplomacy signals a commitment to peaceful conflict resolution. It shows a willingness to engage, to negotiate, to find common ground. It is a strategy that, while not without its challenges, holds the potential for long-term stability and peace. In the chessboard of international politics, Jai Shankar's moves continue to be watched with keen interest. His approach to India's northern border challenges has set a new narrative in motion, one that stresses on dialogue over discord, peace over conflict, and mutual respect over unilateral demands. Only time will tell how this narrative unfolds and what impact it will have on the future of India's northern borders.